Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I've come up with the makeup tutorial of the look that you're seeing right here. It's a very colorful eye makeup and this is the first time I get that I'm doing a super colorful look on my channel. Since this season is my favorite time of the year and the vibe is very cool and pleasant and colorful, so I decided to come up with the colorful makeup look according to that. So I came up with the spring makeup look. And I chose pastel colors, played with pink, lavender and blue. So that was my theme of the makeup and I really enjoyed creating this. You're going to find links of all the products that I'm going to use in the description box below. So make sure to check them out. And before getting into the video, if you're seeing this face for the very first time, I am Shivani and I make beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more such videos. I post two videos every week. And with that being said, let's get into the makeup tutorial. I'm starting with the voiceover because there were some background noises in my kitchen but this will last only till the skin prep. So first I'm using this Hydro Boost Toner plus Serum from the Natural Wash I guess and I love this product. After I rub it in my palms it emulsifies like this and then it just hydrates my skin and it keeps it hydrated as long as the makeup stays. Next I'm going to moisturize my face using the Pond's Light Moisturizer. Here I am warming the product in my hand and then applying it on my face generously. Next I'm going to use the Plum Candy Melts Lip Balm. I love this lip balm. This smells absolutely amazing. It smells like a cake and it moisturizes my lips very nicely. This is one drawback that it makes my fingers look very messy because I have to use my fingers to apply this. Next I'm using the primer from Maybelline Fit Me and I'm applying it only on my T-zone because that is the area where I get oily. And now I'm using an illuminating primer. It's the Real Makeup Face Primer from Swiss Beauty and I'm going to apply it on the rest of my face where I've not applied the Maybelline primer because I want to glow from within. So I'm using this and I love this product. You can look at the shine that my face is showing right now. Background noises are finally gone and I can start talking. As I must have said already in the intro, I'm going to do a very colorful makeup today. I'm going to go for pastel colors, so let's get started. Since I'm doing a colorful makeup, I'm going to do my eyes first and then the base because colorful makeups can be tricky and there can be a lot of fallout. So to avoid ruining my base, I'm going to do my eyes first. And like as usual, I'm going to start by prepping my eyes and for that I'm going to use the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer. It's a very light shade and that's what I want because I want the colors to pop out so I'm going to use this one. While blending, you have to make sure that you're not leaving any patches of the concealer on your lid. Because if your base will be smooth, then the patches will be different from the shadows ka alag patch ban and that would look very weird. So to avoid that, make sure that your base is pretty smooth. Just take any compact powder or a loose powder and set this so that this doesn't move. Time to start with the colorful part and what I have in mind is a transition from blue to pink to lavender or from blue to lavender to pink. We'll see how it goes and uh, but definitely i'm going to start with the blue pastels so i'm using this nika ki eyeshadow palette i've used this and reviewed this before as well but i love this so i'm using it again i'm picking this shade using a flat brush unlike what i usually do i'm going to start the makeup from my inner corner today doing the same thing on the other eye Now taking a small blending brush, I'm going to blend the edges out so that harsh lines will be removed. In any eye makeup that you do, blending is a must of course, but especially when you're showing transitions from one color to other color. At that point of time, you have to make sure that your blending game is on point. If your blending game is not on point, then the transition will not look then the colors will look like the eyes and that won't look good. So. That's why make sure that you're taking your time to blend the colors out. I'm going to take this lavender color and I hope this shows up. Going back in with the same blending brush to smoothen it. As I'm blending the makeup, harsh lines are hot, but the color is fade. Hota jata hai. So the trick is to keep going back and forth. It takes extra minute, isme, but until you get the perfect finish and the perfect color intensity, you have to keep going back and forth with the blending brush and the color. I'm going back in with the blue. And the purple as well. I'm 
It's time to add the third color that is the pink color and since this palette doesn't have a pink, I'm going to use a different palette. I've had it since a long time but I have not used this palette on my channel before. This huge palette that I got from Flipkart, it's the very famous Hated With Love palette. This palette is famous because of the fact that this doesn't cost much. This costs only for 500 to 600 rupees and this has 63 shades. What else do you need in a palette? So this is how it looks. It has almost every color that you can think of and it has a mirror as well for some reason this shade is named as dark brown but it's a pink color and i'm going to use this one since it's the outer corner i'm going to use a flat blending brush to pick this up not going to lie i'm actually a bit nervous because now the third color is going and now is the point that i'll get to know ki jo maine imagine kiya tha, actually mein acha lag bhi ke nahi. so let's see I think the purple over here has faded away so I'm going to add some more. It looks better now. I'm going to take the same pink color on my crease as well so that everything looks put together. It doesn't look like I've placed just three different colors. That won't look good but the transition from pink to blue and from pink to lavender and then again from pink to pink that would make it look even. I guess I'm satisfied with how my eyelids look right now. Once the base is done, the lashes are on, I think it would look good. See, there's a lot of fallout over here and here. Now it's time to clean the fallout and begin with the rest of the face. So today I'm going to start with some color correcting. I do color correcting quite often but I've never done it on my channel. If your dark circles are very prominent and you don't mind putting in a lot of layers, then you can go for it and I normally do color correcting only when I have to you know put on a heavy face of makeup and go to a shadi or a party or something just today I'm in the mood to go all out so I'm going to do color correcting I've never talked about it on my channel before and I wanted to share this knowledge so I thought I should go for it today I'm going to use the orange color corrector only for my dark circles and for some pigmentation that I have like the acne marks if I have a pimple or red spots, hote, I would have used a green color corrector to cover the redness. I'm not going into the depth of the theory, but yes, red cancels green. If there is red acne, hote, active acne, I use a green color corrector. And when the foundation mix in it, the shade that I actually need to use, it will convert that shade. Ho jata hai. And uh, similarly, for my dark circles, I'm going to use an orange color corrector because in dark circles, there is a blue and grayish undertone. Hoti hai. And that is cancelled out by orange. Or if there is a lot of intensity, it goes red. If you put orange, you put orange, you put orange, you put your concealer or foundation on it, then that will get mixed and will form the right shade that you'll want. I'm taking the orange color corrector and you have to take a little bit. You don't have to go all out. I'm taking the orange color corrector and you have to take a little bit. You don't have to go all out. You don't have to go all out like Hanuman Ji's face. You don't have to make orange like Hanuman Ji's face. And side by side, I'm going to start blending it as well. That's it. I will not put this much on it. And that is the key to color correction. Because if you go for an intense orange color, then that will peek through your foundation and that will not look pretty. So make sure that you put it a little bit on it. On top of that, I'm going to use my normal Wet n Wild concealer. This is in the shade Medium Tawny. I'm done blending and my dark circles are completely concealed. I'm going to go in with foundation and for that I'm going to use the Lakme 9 to 5. I've been using it quite a lot these days because I have recently liya tha and uh, I'm enjoying using this foundation. to go in with one more layer before setting the base and moving on to the blush and bronzer I'm going to use a highlighting concealer I'm going to highlight my under eyes and for that I'm going to use the same concealer that I used to prep my eyes To 
before this starts creasing i'm going to set this using the maybelline fit me loose powder and for my under eyes specifically i'm using a brush to be precise you can see the difference that setting makes this side looks much put together and mattified and this side looks you know a little bit of greasy and messy setting the rest of my face using the beauty blender only dab 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 okay now it's time to add some color back obviously the eyes have a lot of color right now but i'm talking about the face and for that i'm going to start with bronzing up my face and i'm going to use my all time favorite the sugar bronzer just dipping my brush into it ever so slightly dabbing the excess and running it here so for the blush i have something new to try out it's a touch blush palette and it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 shades and it looks so pretty like gradient effect on the box already looks so tempting so let's open it and see i've seen it before of course but i'll just open it and show it to you guys it this is what the palette looks like from the inside it has a mirror it has six shades inside this plastic sheet it has a bright pink it has a pinky nude it has an orange it has a mauve blush and can't use this as a blush but this can be used as a contour and a red blush so let's see the swatches what this swatches look like and i guess it's pretty pigmented and uh, now let's see how it performs on my face since my whole makeup is very pink undertoned i'm going to use a pink blush right here अगर मुझे ज़्यादा ब्राइट लगा तो आई एम गोइंग टू मिक्स द न्यूड वन लेट्स सी पिकिंग अप दिस जॉइंट ब्लश ब्रश ओ माय गॉड इट हैज लॉट ऑफ किक बैक जस्ट केयरफुली प्लेस सम ओके इट्स प्रेडी पिगमेंटेड सिंस इट्स सुपर पिगमेंटेड आई यूज अ डिफरेंट ब्रश टू ब्लेंडेड बिकॉज अगर मैं उसी से करती तो पूरा फेस मेरा पिंक हो जाता क्योंकि मैंने बहुत ज्यादा प्रोडक्ट उठा लिया था आई लव दिस ब्लश लाइक दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट आई कैन फील कि हाँ मेरे फेस से ब्लश दिख रहा है जितना ब्लश मैं नॉर्मली लगाती हूँ आई गो फॉर अ वेरी लाइट ब्लश एंड वो दिखता ही नहीं है थोड़े टाइम बाद वो फेड हो जाता है बट दिस ब्लश आई यूज द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लश दैट आई यूज नॉर्मली एंड ये काफी ज्यादा दिख रहा है सो दैट्स अ प्लस पॉइंट for highlighter i'm going to use the same sugar palette once again mujhe abhi ek aur video shoot karni hai iske baad and sunlight already ja rahi hai i could have started time pe but maine procrastinate kar kar ke start karne mein hi char baja diye now it's time to go back to the eyes and i'm going to use the pink color on my lower lash line I'm going to follow the same pattern that I was on the upper lid. Blending it all out with a small blending brush. Okay, so I went off camera, applied a thin liner, mascara and some falsies and I'm back. And I think now the eyes look put together. It's time to add lipstick, some highlighter on the inner corner, and we are done. I think I'm going to use the icy white shade from this palette on my inner corner. The entire eye look is cool toned. I think this would look prettier than the regular golden that I do. Using the same color on my brow bone as well, and this reminds me that I forgot to do my brows. For my brows, I'm going to use the Miss Clear waterproof eyebrow pencil, and it's a decent pencil. It's, it's not too good and it's not too bad as well. I can work with it. I just need to fill in the gaps so I can work with it. It has a spoolie as well, so I can do the blending. I'm super confused as to what to use on my lips. Bright karu ya thoda nude karu. I don't know. I'm just experimenting right now. And now I'm using the Faces Canada All Time Pro Matte Lip Crayon. It's a very bright pink color. I'll just apply it and see कि ये कैसा लग रहा है. Most probably I'm going to switch to a nude after this, but let's see. I 
it's looking too bright it's taking the limelight of the eyes and that's something that i don't want i put in a lot of effort on my eyes so i think i'm not going to change the color i'll just add some nude on top of it using my sugar setting spray i'm just going to set everything in place Okay, so that was it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. This makeup look did turn out to be the way that I expected and I am really happy with that. And now you guys tell me in the comments ki aapko ye makeup kaisa laga. If you ever want to play with colors and you recreate this makeup look, do let me know and do tag me in your pictures. I'd love to see them. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I'll leave my handle in the description box. Make sure to leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. How the palette? This is what the palette looks. This is what the palette looks.